protein can't last a million years under ideal conditions because chemistry happens relentlessly. But then there's another group of scientists who keep finding proteins in fossils from all over the world and at different depths within the geologic strata. So our journey in trying to get this published took five years, three different attempts, two different journals, and multiple sets of reviewers. Now, did it take so long to publish your research because of the scientific findings themselves or because people didn't like what you found? Some reviewers would say, you can't have protein in this fossil because it's a fossil and it's too old to have proteins in it. So therefore, no matter what your evidence seems to show, you can't publish this. Then the editor would say, yeah, we're not going to publish this because I have two or three reviewers saying that it can't be there. But you see, that's just circular reasoning. But we have actual evidence, you know, that it is there. So we finally got a hold of you know, some, some reviewers, they're familiar with the literature, over 130 technical papers that describe original proteins and other biomolecules in fossils. And so it's it's overwhelming. It's an avalanche of evidence. Finally, we got reviewers to, to, to put their eyes on our paper who's, who said they did good work. This is worth publishing. And we finally got it through.